Alright guys, so we're back with another Steam Deck video. Valve decided to release their official dock for the Steam Deck. And it's this guy right here. Now, so we're going to be reviewing it today and just giving you our overall thoughts. First and foremost, let's just get right into it. The pricing on this, so it is expensive. It's $90. Now it does for that price, it does come with another power adapter. It's the same 45 watt power adapter that came with the Steam Deck. So, you know, you are adding that value. Like I said, it's like $25. There are other cheaper alternatives. So there's a number of docks out on the market. Uh, you have JSOX, they've produced a lot of docks. We're actually going to be reviewing one of their docks in our next video. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell notification so you're ready for that. Now, their, their dock that's most equivalent to this is $60. Now, that does not come with a, you know, a power adapter, so I think they offer one for 20 bucks. Yeah, well, so, you could use the one that came with your Steam Deck. Yeah, or you can Steam use deck. the one with your, your Steam Deck. Um, so, 20 bucks, that takes it up to, like, 70 bucks. So, it's still, like, 80, 10, $10 bucks, cheaper. 80 bucks, yeah. You're right, 80 bucks. So, it's still $10 cheaper. You know, and it's a little bit better build quality. There's also a iVoller, is that how you pronounce it? iVoller, yeah. I think it was originally 50 bucks, but right now you can get on Amazon for 34. That doesn't do uh, 4K 60, it does 4K 30, if you're you know interested in, in getting in 4K. Um, and again, that doesn't come with a power cable either. There's also USB hub, so if you've seen our past videos, we had a, I think it was, we have an anchor. Anchor, an anchor. Yeah. Um, So there's a couple, there's more cheaper alternatives. But, you know, if you want the official dock, it's pretty nice. So the Steam Deck dock, it has the logo at the top, I really like that. It's black plastic, but it doesn't feel like cheap. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty compact. So it's going to be easy to travel with you want if you want to dock at, you know at like a friend's house or some other place other than your your home. The bottom is is rubberized, so you know it's not going to slide around where we have it like on the desk or whatever surface you're going to have it on. So that's nice. It does also have rubber at the slide at the bottom, so that's good. So it's not going to scratch um, on the bottom. But I wish it had rubber on the part that like faces. Um, the front of your Steam Deck and it kind of like if you rub your hand on it's like a little bit like of a, like a sharp edge or like a sharp angle there. So that may uh, scratch your Steam Deck over time so you just want to be kind of careful how you place it. Yeah because when we were putting it down like you can just try it really quick. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll kind of, I don't know if you can hear it or not but like if you don't set it down right, yeah, it, it's kinda, plastic on plastic. Yeah, it just kind of rubs there. So yeah. So when you have it in when you place it in it doesn't block the vents a lot of the other docks they block the vents so you know over time if you're gaming or doing like office productivity in the dock mode that may cause some some heating issues so with, with this dock it doesn't do that yeah. and also like on your desk because of the small size it's going to take up less space and it's going to you know make your desk uh, look less cluttered so th that's also nice now you cannot have your case, the case that we had when we reviewed it, like the accessories, you cannot have the case on when you put it in to the dock because your USB uh, C pass, you know, connector that comes with the dock is it's not going to fit if you have a case on. And also, like the spacing, like where you slot it in, it's just enough to fit in the Steam Deck yeah. by itself. Yeah, so Valve designed this, you know, with the dimensions of this, uh, the Steam Deck without a case on it. So you're gonna have to take it, your case off if you have one yeah. when you do it. So that may be a, a big issue for you, or it may not. And then so for the connector cable that goes into the Steam Deck, we actually really like. So it kind of has this um, angled you know, rubber piece up here. So when you plug it into the Steam Deck, it's really easy to just push, push it off. Like I said, you know, it's got this angled thing, so it's really easy to get your finger on it and easily disconnect it from the Steam Deck. So that was really nice, because there's some other ones that's a little bit harder to disconnect. So let's also talk about ports. So it's got a number of ports here, obviously it's a dock. So you have three 3.1 USB-A ports. You also have a gigabit ethernet. So you know if you don't have the best Wi-Fi, you can hook up your ethernet cable and get better speeds. 
You also have a USB-C power delivery port, HDMI 2.0, and you also have a DisplayPort 1.4. So you have a number of options to connect it to your displays and your other peripherals, keyboards, mice, a whole bunch of things that you can connect with that. And it also supports multiple monitors. So if you want to have like, you have a dual monitor setup, you can connect two monitors and display to both of those at the same time. Now, at first, this was only the dock on the market when this came out that supported dual monitors at two, uh, you know, displaying to both of them at the same time. But JSOX, once this came out, they upgraded theirs to also offer display port and allowing for dual monitors at the same time. So that's nice. And then also having all the ports on the back is really clean. Like when you have it, you know, on your desk or wherever you're gonna have it, it kind of hides all the cables. There's nothing on the side, which, you know, some, some other docks have stuff on the side. So I like that everything is right on the back there. Okay, so a couple like items of note. So, you know, like when you plug your switch in, uh, you know, you get more performance in dock mode. That's not gonna happen here. There's no like extra power delivery that's gonna boost performance or anything like that. Uh, so there's not gonna be any increased TDP or something like that. Um, cool thing is that the firmware, like when you plug it in, the Steam Deck knows that this is a Steam Deck dock, the official dock, and it does the firmware updating automatically. Other third-party docs, you have to download a little utility from their website, you know, get the file and use your computer to do it. This is all contained within like the Steam Deck and the Steam Deck dock. So if this was your like your only computer, you wouldn't have to worry about, oh, I need a Windows PC so I can update the dock. So that's nice. And there may be additional functionality coming from the dock in a later firm. We, we don't know. Yeah, we'll I have think to, they have said that. Yeah, we'll have to see what uh, Valve does there. Um, there were some issues like connecting displays in the in the past, like um, when it when it f first uh, came out. But uh, we didn't have any issues. We connected it to um, an older Samsung 4K TV we have and an LG uh, C1. No issues. Everything worked fine. There were some issues with LG TVs, but that has uh, been fixed. Uh, like I said, with a recent update. So those just uh, like a couple like odds and ends that I just wanted to mention about it. All right, so let's talk about some use cases. So first off, having a dock to connect to your TV and play games on the couch, you can have a Bluetooth uh, controller paired up, and so you can play that way. Now, as we mentioned before, the dock does support up to 4K at 60 hertz, but most AAA games are not going to really play at 4K or even 1440p. So that's something to remember. And like Damian mentioned, there, you get no extra performance with the dock. So, you know, it's not gonna give you any extra horsepower here. Now, older games though, you can probably run some of those smooth at 4K. So we did try to do Horizon Zero Dawn at 4K. That did not go well. Like it was playing, but it was like 12 FPS. And so, you know, it, it didn't look great at all. But we went back to an old game like Ori and the Blind Forest, and that actually played really well. We got it to play at 4K. Um, it was pretty much FPS was around 60. There were some drops around 30, but it was very playable. And then to even be able to change the resolution of your games, you first need to go into the settings. Like, so before you play the game, you're in Steam, before you play the game, you go over to settings and you go to default resolution and you need to change that. So if you're trying to play something in 4K, make sure you select the 4K resolution and then you can actually go into the game, launch it, and then within the settings of the game is where you can up the resolution. So that's something to note that you just need to make sure you do that within Steam first. Yeah, so that's display settings in Steam. Yes. In settings. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, another good thing is having uh, this docked at your desk and makes it easy to connect the keyboard and mouse and you can use this as like a PC or also just making uh, quick changes, having it connected to, you know, external, a bigger external display, make some quick changes or you can get some productivity work done. Uh, when you connect a monitor to this, you'll likely need to go into the display configurations in desktop mode and adjust, uh, adjust it so you make sure that your monitor is the primary display and the Steam is the secondary display. And also you might want to turn off the display on the Steam Deck so you don't have that afterglow and just have uh, have that if you want to do that where you can just have, have them both on at the same time. But yeah. I like to do it where 
the Steam Deck uh, monitor is off and then I have my monitor or television as the primary display. Yeah, and you'll need to up the resolution too because when we first connected it, it was still like at 800p or something like right. that. So if you have it displayed to a 4K monitor, just change the resolution up to 4K. Yeah, you know. especially in like desktop mode, again, productivity, FPS is not really like a big thing, but you want the, the added resolution. All right, another use case is you can use this, this dock actually with other devices too. So if you have iPads with USB-C, you can connect it and you can have other ports to, you know, if you need to connect peripherals or anything like that. We have an Aya Neo, so if you have like another handheld or something that has USB-C, you can use this dock with that. So, you know, if you're, the price, you know, is a little expensive, but if you can use it for multiple things, that's actually kind of nice as well. Yeah, another key benefit is it's a nice place to um, to charge your Steam Deck. You know, you have this mm -hmm. plugged in, uh, uh, like your main desk or wherever you have it is already plugged in. You know, connect the Steam Deck, and you have like a nice uh, charging station for your Steam Deck. So that's nice. Okay, so now on the final thoughts, I like the fact that this doesn't block the vent when you're when you have it in dock mode, so you don't have to worry about any overheating issues, and it's small and compact on a small footprint footprint on your desk. It has a 45 watt power delivery. So if you have something like a USB uh, powered hard drive that's only powered by USB and it's also charged into 45 watts might not be enough. So you might want to look into like a 100 watt um, adapter. Now the Steam Deck is not gonna you know, charge anything higher than 45, but maybe some of that will pass through and power your hard drive and make sure you get full charging on the Steam Deck while stocked. Uh, also, I like the auto update feature. You don't have to worry about any, you know, utility on a Windows machine and updating the, the dock. That way, it's automatically detected. It does the firmware updates. Very nice. Now, you can't use a case with this. So, you know, if you're prone to dropping your thing, you have a case on it, and you want to use a dock, but you got to take the case off. So, those were the uh, things that I thought stood out. Michelle, what did you see? I like it. it. It is very expensive, and yeah, I don't want to say too much about the JSOC stock because, like we said, we're gonna do that in another video. But there are options out there that are just as good, and there's some things about them that are a little bit better, and you know, like they're a little bit cheaper. So. I mean, I do like that, you know, if you just want to stick with Steam Deck and, you know, you, you, you trust them already, you got the Steam Deck and you just want it all uniform, then, you know, fine, pick it up. Um, it, it's got plenty of ports. I like that they're all in the back. It's plastic, but I mean, it's not bad quality at all. So, you know, that's not a big deal. The one major thing I don't like about this is, it to me, and Damian mentioned this, it doesn't have enough rubber you know, in the slot here where you put the Steam Deck. I would definitely like to see more rubber on the backing, even on the little lip in the front. I don't know if it's gonna start causing scratches after a while, we haven't had it long enough, but the more rubber the better in my, in my opinion. And like you said, you know, we kinda, a lot of people don't have cases. I don't even know how often we're gonna use ours, but we did have it on and we tried to put it in here and it didn't fit. So if you do have a case on it, a shell or whatever you wanna call it, and you like to keep that on regularly, you're gonna have to take this or take it off to put it on this stock. But you get those smooth firmware updates, that's easy peasy, you don't have to like download a firmware update and go through all that, you know, on like the other company's websites and stuff like that. So it's expensive, but I still think it's good, but there are other options out there. Yes. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Like I said, stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell so you are ready for our next video of the JSOC stock. And also follow us on our socials. So we're on Twitter, Instagram, or even on TikTok. So hang out with us on there. And again, if you wanna see any more accessories for the Steam Deck, we've done a number already, but let us know in the comments down below what other accessories or other things you want us to cover for the Steam Deck. But with that, We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.